Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. S, Chapter 12, Service. 40 questions, open note, make some good ones. Here we go. The chapter starts talking right away about call centers. Why do we have 800 call centers in India? Low wages, wide use of English. Please read the insert. Look at the idea of urbanization. And the key things we look at analyzing urbanization is number and percentage of people. Look at a little historical, the idea of the Industrial Revolution and urbanization and how the Industrial Revolution promoted urbanization. When we look at the idea of urban areas in the world today, out of the 10 largest urban areas, how many are MDCs? Two. Eight are LDCs. When we look at the historical background, the idea of why groups started to form settlements, and one of the key reasons would have been burying the dead. If we look at the difference from rural versus urban settlements, and please read about that, we can look at one of the key things as rural settlements were more likely and more able to do well in agriculture. When we look at some of the early types or kinds of settlements, please know what a clustered rural was versus a urban settlement. And today, most people in the world do live in what is called a urban settlement. Look at the idea of the French long lot system. And the reason they had these long lots was closeness to water. Look at the idea of social heterogeneity. The idea that the larger the city, the more you feel all alone. There's so many different people versus you feel more comfortable in a smaller town. Um, look at the role of the enclosure movement. And it was to promote... Um, agricultural efficiency when we looked at the uh, enclosure movement in England. Look at the idea of where we see clustered rural settlements in colonial America historically. We've seen them in the New England area of the colonies. Look at some of the roles of the Roman Empire, medieval cities, city-states. Uh, one of the key things of the Roman Empire was the change in urban populations and the fall of the Roman Empire, we then find, found a reduction in urban population. Um, look at the idea of medieval settlements were around central market squares. The idea of a city-state and the state dominated by major city or cities. Know the differences of the first early services provided, consumer versus business, for example. Businesses provided services to serve businesses. Uh, professional services was not a consumer services. Consumer services were more like health, retail, education, those things. When we're trying to measure how areas are laid out, why people chose to settle and how settling is done, we looked at the idea of a hinterland versus range versus threshold. So please know all of those terms. Know if you want to measure a linear community. We look at the idea of the median. Look at the idea of different markets, especially what a periodic market is. There's one of the inserts that talks about uh, finding a place for a new store in Phoenix. It's called the analog method. Please read about that. We talked about central place theory. Know the idea that the patterns that geographers use are hexagon. Um, and the idea with central place is it predicts that the larger settlements are, the fewer there are, and the more farther apart they are. Um, know the idea of the rank size rule or the rank size theory. And also the idea of um, primate cities. There's a few questions on that, so please know the difference. Know what a central place is, for example, a market center. Um, know the idea of basic economic activities, basic economic industry or basic indi industry. For example, a basic economic activity would be a steel mill, something that you produce products for people outside of your community. Look at the idea of basic industries and that definition questions go together that way um, the Great Lakes region their most important activity is production of durable goods uh, then finally we look at the international sector the idea of LDCs this 
two types of businesses they specialize in are offshore financial and back office. Then look at the idea of defining cities on a threshold or I'm sorry, not threshold, but a hierarchy of how we define cities and their businesses and service business service activities. And it would go from World Series to command and control centers to specialized producer service centers and then finally to dependent centers. So know the hierarchy of defining cities. Um, benefits of doing financial services in LDCs are tax breaks and privacies. Um, one of the reasons they use LDCs and where we see what are called back office services is because they can pay extremely lower wage rates and they, the idea of speaking English. And then finally, the idea of diversity and talent Richard Florida's uh, theory, analysis, and experiments showing data of talent and diversity tend to run hand in hand. And finally, the idea of what public services are. Um, for example, our state capitals produce or provide all kinds of public services. That should be it. Read it. It's not a long one. Look for the bold print. Look for the key ideas, keywords. That should do it. 40 questions. Open note. That's it.